We get asked all the time what to look for for mites, how to treat mites, does it make me a bad snake parent if my snake has mites, and is my snake going to die? It definitely does not make you a bad snake owner if you do find mites. There's tons of different ways you can get them into your house. Uh, you could bring them home from a, a shop, you could bring them home from an expo, a friend's house that doesn't know that they have mites on their snakes. Tons of different ways, you're not a bad snake owner. Now as far as what to look for, I'll show you a few things to look for uh, when looking for mites. Now disclaimer, this snake does not have mites. The banana morph ball python does have freckles that can sometimes look like mites. Uh, this snake has been thoroughly checked over, does not have mites, perfectly clean snake. We'll look at right here, this little freckle. It kind of looks like a mite. Mites will be a black dot up underneath their scale or walking across the body. Now on the stomach, mites are gonna pop out. You're gonna notice them very easily. Uh, as well as in the corners of the mouth, which is a little bit harder to see sometimes. If you just bend the mouth back and open a little bit, right up in there in that corner. Uh, if you have a lot of mites on your snake, they'll kind of congregate there where it's nice and wet. Uh, behavioral changes, that can be a, a good indicator. Uh, if you have a snake that doesn't hang out in its water dish and then all of a sudden it's just bathing every day, check out that snake. Chances are it's either deep in shed or it has mites. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is pick up some Prevenomite, or what we call PAM. Uh, then you're gonna take your snake out of its enclosure and give it a bath. With a little bit of uh, like Dawn dish soap, some, uh, some dish soap in there, that's gonna help drown the mites off of your snake. Soak him in there, put him aside. While he's soaking, uh, you're going to clean out his cage. All the bedding in there, trash, get rid of it. All the decorations, thoroughly wash them. Hides, sticks, water dishes, anything that you have in there, plants, uh, wash everything. Um, then you're going to put paper towel, and you're gonna spray some Pam on it. Do that. So now that's treated, right? We're gonna set that off to the side. Now, we're just gonna pretend like this is my snake's cage. You're gonna take that, and you're gonna just lightly spray the entire cage. Let that dry. Now, when that dries, and you can't see a drop, a drip, the fog, Everything is dry. You're gonna put the paper towel back into the cage. You're going to, uh, you're just gonna use paper towel as the bedding in his cage. Put the snake back in there. Once again, when everything is dry, and that's gonna be his cage for the next week or two. Uh, the paper towel is so that way you can keep track of the mites. The mites are going to stick out very clearly on that white paper towel. Uh, that's pretty much the only reason that you're going to use it. Once you go a week without seeing mites on the paper towel, feel free to uh, real redecorate his cage. Put all the bedding back in, decorations, water dish, hide, all that fancy stuff, and you're pretty much good to go. I hope this was helpful in keeping your snakes happy and healthy. If you have any further questions, please give us a call, stop on by. We'll see you soon.